Hi there, my name is Don Boudreaux. I'm a professor of economics at George Mason University and a senior fellow at George Mason's Mercatus Center. And I'm here today to talk about Adam Smith and his views on trade and the economy. So let's get started. It's a really good question. What is the role of ideas? Uh, I used to believe 30 or so years ago when I was younger and, and even more stupid than I am now, I used to believe that ideas aren't that important. What really matters are the hard uh, facts of, the, of, of institutions, interest group alignments, uh, the, 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 the statutes written on books. I still think these things matter, uh, but I have done an almost 180 on my view of ideas. Ultimately, I think ideas are at the bottom of everything. Uh, I, we, we are an idea species. Uh, one of the things that distinguishes us is our incredible ability to use uh, the air waves in order to transfer highly nuanced and detailed ideas from one brain to another. That's one thing that distinguishes us, right? Uh, we don't just send out warning signals. We transfer just, I'm doing that right now. Uh, tr transferring fairly sophisticated ideas that are in my head through the airwaves to 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 listeners, and so it would be it would be absurd, I think, to conclude that well, really, ideas ultimately don't don't matter. Of course, they they matter. Um, I uh, it, you can have the best constitution, the best uh, uh, set of statutes statutes, and if the If, pe if the presumptions that people have, people on the ground, I'm not talking just about leaders, I'm talking about ordinary people. If the presumptions that people have, if the notions that people have about what is right and wrong, what's acceptable and unacceptable, what are the appropriate um, modes of behavior and what modes of behavior are inappropriate, then you'll get one kind of society compared to if people have different uh, uh, sets of ideas. Uh, as, as many listeners know, I've been very much influenced by the work of the great economic historian, uh, Deirdre McCloskey. Uh, and my, 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 ex, my uh, coming around to understand the importance of ideas started before I really had gotten into McCloskey's work, but, but her work has driven it home for me. And her explanation of why humanity in the past 200 or so years has for the first time in history experienced this what she calls great enrichment this incredible explosion of of wealth why why we today have electricity and we can talk and communicate in this manner as opposed to how the vast majority of our ancestors lived uh, is that ideas change uh and in, in particular uh the idea that that commerce and trade are Uh, uh, not just tolerable activities, but n noble activities, activities that uh, bring dignity to people who in engage in them. So we, to the extent that we we celebrate and talk favorably about uh, about market entrepreneurs, uh, that makes entrepreneurship a more acceptable pursuit. And so as, as it becomes a more acceptable pursuit, more people become entrepreneurs. Uh, as, as, as we accept that there's no shame in having your business go bankrupt because consumers have changed their their tastes and preferences. Uh, we become more willing to accept the creative destruction that is inseparable from economic growth. You, you can't have this industry grow unless this industry over here shrinks because this industry over here needs resources and it's got to get the resources from somewhere, the workers and other materials from somewhere. And so in, in, in my view, uh, uh, it, it has largely been a change of ideas that has changed the course of history to the extent that his, and history will continue to change and history will change because of changes in ideas. And that's why working to promote ideas that you believe are sound, Is, is is so important. The idea business is an, is an is an important business to be in. 
Uh, it sounds self-serving perhaps. I mean, I'm in the idea business. I've always been in the idea business. I'll always be in the idea business. And so I like to think that the idea business is, is selling something worthwhile that I'm not peddling snake oil. Uh, but I genuinely believe it, 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 it to be so. The, the Wealth of Nations uh, is a book filled with great ideas. I think it is highly improbable that all of the economic growth that we've enjoyed since the publication of this book has nothing to do with the ideas in, in that book. I'm not saying that, that it, it's a mis people often mistakenly say, oh, Adam Smith is the inventor of capitalism. Uh, I, that's just nonsense. Adam Smith uh, uh, was describing the world that he saw around. He didn't invent capitalism. He didn't invent self-interest. He didn't invent entrepreneurship. He didn't invent the market. Uh, but he did in explaining the in, 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 for the first time in a creative and engaging way how the market works in explaining that the operation of the market is not a bad thing but it's a good thing uh, he helped to change ideas in a way that made acceptance of the market more widespread and for that we we, we should thank him and so my, my short answer uh, to Tate's question Tate's question is uh, yes, ideas matter. Without good ideas, you have a you have a you have a not good society. With good ideas, you will ultimately get a a good society. So it's important to promote good ideas and to and to debunk bad ones.